We are swimming in, in a sea of wireless signals and electromagnetic waves. It turns out that particularly as we become older, as we age, there is this metric called gate velocity, which describes about our habitual walking speed. That is like our body, as we age, it knows it and it just it adapts and it changes our walking speed to adapt to our health conditions. The study looked at old people, like people above 65, uh, and it looked at uh, 34,000 different people. And it studied them over a period between six to 20 years. And what it discovered is that when you look at the gait velocity or the gait speed of a person and you combine it with their age and gender, it's actually a very good predictor of longevity and life expectancy. So you can tell with much better accuracy how long this person is gonna live. It's not only about life expectancy, it's actually it can predict uh, fall risk, like whether somebody has uh, bad balance and there are fall uh, risk. And also it can even predict things that are related to heart diseases, uh, problems that are related to breathing. So for example, people with Parkinson's disease, people with multiple sclerosis, um, also even Alzheimer's disease people, and generally older people, because as I said, the gait for all people is really very indicative of their overall health conditions. The way we think about it is, think about a box very much similar to your Wi-Fi box, that you can just hang it on a wall. It's using the, uh, the surrounding wireless signals to detect how the person moves, and continuously 24-7 measuring their gait speed. I believe that there is a role for technology. Like we, we typically think about wireless signals like, okay, my Wi-Fi and I'm talking or calling or communications. But the idea that you can use these like invisible signals in the environment, it's kind of like using the force uh, in Star Wars. And I think it, it, it's, not, it's not a fantasy, it's actually something that is very real. Really excited about like being able to use a wireless signal to, to measure all of these metrics. That typically we will need a variety of sensors in the environment and wearables. So now what we are talking about is really moving from the wearables to the invisible.